The Presence is the ultimate creator and source of all things in the DC Universe. The source may be considered the consciousness of the DC Universe as well as a component or aspect of the Presence and a partner of Mother Entity, who at one point became bonded to the Source. The Source was created during the creation of the Universe roughly 19 billion years ago. The Source is described as the incredible energy of creation that resides in all things. It is a collection of limitless energy used in the creation and design of all things. The Source is considered by many to be like the Buddha of the DC Universe. At the edge of the multiverse is the Source Wall that protects the Source and traps all those who try to pass beyond it. The Source Wall is an infinitely stretching solid barrier that surrounds the multiverse, beyond which lies the Source. Perpetua was one of the hands of the Omniverse, which were cosmic entities whose job it was to create newer multiverses within the Omniverse. She was also considered one of the most feared things in the entire Omniverse. When Perpetua had rebelled against her bosses, the judges of the source by creating a new apex predator species combining humans and martians which are meant to live and fight forever the monitor and the other brothers sons of perpetua betrayed her in fear that her actions would lead to the total destruction of the multiverse by the judges one of the judges appeared in the form of a hawk trapping and imprisoning perpetua in a new barrier called the source wall the origin of the source wall wasn't clear until recently when crona a scientist invented the machine that would allow him to take a tiny peek at the moment of creation However, his machine exploded, destroying his universe and shattering it into multiple multiverses. Perpetua, the mother of Anti-Monitor, Monitor and World Forger, is responsible for creating the first multiverse. The Monitor's function is to prevent crisis and oversee the development of civilizations as well. It exists to observe and record the multiverse. Anti-Monitor controls the Antimatter universe, which occupies the same continuum space as the normal universe, but is on a different space-time level. The World Forger was the first son of Perpetua, brother to Monitor and Anti-Monitor. For millennia, it was the job of the World Forger to forge universes based on the fears of all living things in the positive multiverse. Structure of the Source Wall On the Source Wall are Promethean giants, which are frozen statues of dead gods, foolish entities that failed to break the wall, as well as other cosmic beings. The Source Wall was created because of the events of Crisis on Infinite Earth and was used as a type of barrier against anti-life. The Source Wall originally, rather than being a physical wall, was more like a force field. This changed in 1982 during a crossover issue between the famed rivals Marvel and DC, wherein the X-Men and the Teen Titans would meet for the first time. In general, DC Comics has kept the Source out of its main arcs of storytelling, such that not much is concretely known about many aspects of the source. First and last appearance of a new type of source wall. In this rare type of crossover issue between DC and Marvel, the story begins with Darkseid and Metron standing in front of the source wall. Darkseid is one of the foremost villains in the DC universe modeled on the personalities of Adolf Hitler and Richard Nixon. Metron is a new gold explorer who seeks scientific knowledge from the furthest corners of the universe using a time-traveling device called the Mobius Chair. Although it still possesses its force field-like nature which can be gleaned from how it froze Metron, the source wall displays a more physical appearance than its previous versions. Also, rather than simply freezing those who touched it, it turns them into stone. As a result, the source wall becomes more visible the more people touch it because they are embedded in stone. In another storyline, Darkseid attempts to court the cosmic entity called the Phoenix with the ulterior motive of getting her to destroy Earth. This plan was stopped when the teen titan Raven channeled the grief and love the X-Men felt towards their dead friend Jean Grey into a psychic blast. After feeling her former friend's emotion, the Phoenix betrays Darkseid and embeds him into the Source Wall. This story concluded with an epic full-page picture of Darkseid's face entombed in stone, shooting beams of light out of his eyes. One of the most notable storylines involving the Source was when three Elder Gods attacked it and split it into two parts, a lighter side and an anti-life entity. The Source's plan was to use the Infinity Man to kill all the new gods and then combine it with the anti-life entity using the Soul Fire equation to recreate everything. Darkseid came to know of this plan and was able to steal the equation and battle on even terms with the merged source, finally being able to trap it. However, Superman was able to locate where Darkseid had stored away the souls of the new gods and released them. As a result, the source is able to break free and vanquish Darkseid.
This notable version of the source wall would influence all of its future appearances. This is interesting because the crossover issue was out of continuity as well as written and drawn by creators still technically employed by Marvel at the time. This version of the wall would remain for many years until Dark Knight's Metal. The Sun Super Patua, Monitor and Anti-Monitor The Source Wall separates the known DC multiverse from the Source. As a result of the formation of the Source Wall, the Anti-Monitor lost its purpose since the Source Wall separated life from antimatter. This caused him to be angered at his brother Monitor, who got the opportunity to see the rise and fall of civilizations. This is why Anti-Monitor became evil. During Crisis on Infinite Earths, Anti-Monitor destroyed most of the parallel universes, leaving only one, but the one that was left was too unstable and split into 52 parallel universes. This is the beginning on New 52. There is, however, only one source wall that occupies the same space in all the universes but with varying frequencies. The term bleed is used to refer to the space between universes and inter-universe travel weakens the source wall each time it happens, which is why monitors do not like it. What is the Source Wall made of? The Source Wall is made of limitless energy as well as the many entities who have tried to pass through it. The Source Wall is revealed to have been made up of incredible energy sent by Perpetua's superiors. Most probably, the Force is connective, which is the offshoot of the Source. However, since its creation, anyone who tries to breach it becomes a part of the Source Wall itself. Is it possible to destroy the Source Wall? In the Dark Knight's Metal event during the final battle with Barbados, the Source Wall is breached and destroyed. The result of this is that a variety of energies are unleashed upon the universe. Abstract entities and concepts are unleashed and Earth's creatures start mutating as a result of dimensional energies hitting the planet. There are also some individuals who have breached the Source Wall about whom we will discuss later on. How many characters tried to breach the wall and got trapped? There are many people who have tried to breach the wall and failed and have thus become a part of the wall. Yuga Khan, Darkseid's father, attempted to breach the wall but was imprisoned. Ares, the god of war, got trapped and tried to breach it but he escaped using unknown methods. Darkseid was sealed into the wall by Superman. Gog, the last survivor of the third world, was also trapped by Superman. Doctor Doom and Relic are also part of this illustrious source wall. Some characters that have managed to pass the final barrier. Lucifer Morningstar has passed the Source Wall, as has Hal Jordan, Green Lantern, Barry Allen aka The Flash has also broken the Source Wall in order to retrieve some sort of Source Serum. Both Superman and Superboy Prime have breached the wall on different occasions. Superboy Prime is able to easily blast through the Source Wall with his heat vision as can Superman. Lex Luthor has also traveled past the Source Wall in order to search for the anti-life equation to be able to stop Dark Side's attack on Earth. Kyle Rayner, aka White Lantern, breached the wall in order to replenish the emotional spectrum, but he also unwittingly altered the source. Finally, Jim Corrigan as the Spectre passed through a crack in the wall and entered the source while searching for God. Why does Batman blame himself for the destruction of the Source Wall? In a battle with Barbados, Batman was at the center of conflict and was able to break the Source Wall, but it set Perpetua free, and with Lex Luthor's help, she became a hundred times more potent than Barbados. Perpetua is able to turn those who oppose her into her army of monsters. This is why Batman feels guilty, because he was directly responsible for freeing Perpetua, who is now conquering various planets at such a rate that there are hardly any left. This is Batman's secret that he tells Wonder Woman. The Source Wall's Role in DC Comics A Comprehensive Overview The Source Wall serves as a boundary between the known and unknown life and death and between reality and the metaphysical. The Wall houses some of the greatest villains in the DC Universe. Superman was able to trap Darkseid and then release him in order to seek his help in a different storyline. Over time, the Source Wall has become a sacred and revered place stretching infinitely in all directions, made up of virtually unknown stuff and marked by the faces of the countless beings who have tried to breach it. The Source Wall overall thus acts as a cosmic sensor, preventing certain knowledge and powers from being revealed to the DC Universe. Ultimately, the significance and power of the Source Wall have made it a crucial element in some major storylines in DC Comics. 
Marvelous verdict. The Source Wall has become an iconic and legendary element in DC Comics universe and continues to be a source of interest and mystery for fans. A lot about the Source Wall is unknown, which makes it interesting when new information is gleaned from the latest releases in the DC universe. The concept of a vast force field or barrier has been used often in comic books many times, but the rich lore of the Source Wall is at the top of this list, defined by great quality storytelling. Overall, the Source Wall acts as a major root of intrigue, making storylines involving it quite novel and engaging. Jack Kirby created this concept in 1971 and since then, it has evolved into a rich fountain of creativity and novelty in storylines and narratives. Kirby was also responsible for shaping other iconic characters like the Fantastic Four, Thor, the Hulk, Silver Surfer, Black Panther, and the Avengers. The famous comic book cover of Captain America punching Hitler was made by Kirby and sold at auction for $3 million. Jack Kirby died in 1994 and could not see the full fruition of the concept of the Source Wall. We at Marvelous Videos salute Jack for creating this mysterious, fun, and abstract concept. The DC Universe paid an immense tribute to Kirby in Green Lantern No. 12 by illustrating an anthropomorphic version of the Source, a man sharing an uncanny resemblance to none other than Jack Kirby himself. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone!